Hi, today I will show you how to connect this MP3 Bluetooth audio module to a car. You can buy this module on eBay or AliExpress. It costs about four dollars. You can find links below this video on YouTube. In my previous video, I have already demonstrated a similar device, but this module has a slightly different design. It has a native Bluetooth support with a zigzag antenna on a PCB and accepts micro SD card. This module shipped with an infrared remote control. The device has a linear regulator to provide a regulated 5 volts output for a digital circuit. So it can work with 12 or 14 volts, which almost any car can provide. In order to install the audio module, we should make some preparations. So, I have removed my previous audio system. As you can see, it's a Blaupunkt car stereo system. Actually, it was sold to me with a car. It can only play CD and radio stations. Let's examine connectors which we have from a, the previous audio system. So I googled and it turned out these are a standard ISO 10487 connector and the steering wheel control connector and also an antenna connector. First of all, to start the audio module, we need to connect it to the power source. I'm going to use the standard ISO connector. If you look at pinout, you can see there are two positive power pins, number 4 BAT and number 7 IGN. Number 4 BAT is always connected to the positive terminal on a car battery and IGN pin, I believe it means ignition, is connected to the battery only if the car key is inserted into the ignition and rotated to the first notch. Usually, the first notch on the ignition is labeled as ACC, it stands for accessories. The first position enables usage of the radio and other electrical accessories. I think that is not for me, because the model would be constantly connected to the battery and therefore it would suck power from the battery. So it could be possible after some time there is not enough juice into the battery to start the car engine. I presume you already have speakers in your car. I have speakers in all of car's doors. Next thing, we need an audio amplifier because the audio model output has not enough power to drive the car speakers. You can harvest an amplifier chip from your old car audio system. For example, my previous audio system has a pair of TDA7375. If you look at a data sheet for this chip, you can find a typical circuit to use it as a stereo system. 
Of course you can buy a ready-made module for a few dollars. I'm going to use this audio amplifier module. It consists of TDA7297 chip and can provide about 15 watts for a channel. I have only a 2-channel amplifier, but you can use a 4-channel amplifier. Output of the amplifier I will connect to the front door speakers. If we look at pinout, there are pins number 5 and number 6 for the left front door speaker and number 3 and number 4 for the right front door speaker. The next thing we need is a ground loop isolator. Actually, it's a pair of audio transformers. I will place it between the audio module and the amplifier. It eliminates all noise caused by ground loops. You may want to watch my other video where I discuss this phenomena in depth. The ground loop isolator costs about $3. On other hand, you can harvest audio transformers from an old modems. If you don't have a standard connector for audio system, you can easily find the power wires with a multimeter. It should be about 12 volts for a standard car battery. The speaker wires also can be found with a multimeter. You should test resistance. It should be 4 or 8 ohms for a speaker. For example, in my case it's 4 ohm. Ok, let's connect all the devices. In picture you can see a wiring diagram.
Adam J. Roth. We do not destroy religion by destroying superstition. Cicero. To concentrate on heaven is to create hell. Tom Robbins. Dreamscape presents Echopraxia by Peter Watts, narrated by Adam J. Roth. We do not destroy religion by destroying superstition. Cicero. To concentrate on heaven is to create hell. We climbed this hill. Each step up, we could see farther, so of course... Do it at your own risk. Keep in mind, if you can't avoid short-circuiting the electrical system during the installation, then you probably would blow your audio fuses, and you would have to replace the broken ones. In this car, the audio fuses are located behind the left front door.